In this video, we are going to take you on a tour of a home here in the North Dallas, North Fort Worth area in an amazing master plan community called Pecan Square. The price range for this builder is from four twenty dollars to $500,000, so a very affordable home for the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So as I'm taking on a tour of this model home, we'll definitely talk about where Pecan Square is located in the North Fort Worth, North Dallas area, but definitely want you to stick around because we're gonna talk about some amazing incentives that they're offering right now that could actually put your interest rate into the force. If this is your first time to our channel, I am Jennifer Fowler, my husband, cameraman, and partner, Brandon. We run Fowler Realty Team here in the North Dallas, North Fort Worth area. We love helping people who are looking to make a move from out of state or maybe even somewhere within Texas. We help a lot of families figure out what neighborhood and what area of North Dallas, North Fort Worth to live in. So like I said earlier, we are in a master plan community called Pecan Square, we have an entire video all about Pecan Square, so you're gonna wanna make sure and take a look at that one. Pecan Square is located north of Fort Worth in a city called North Lake, Texas. So Pecan Square is located about 30 minutes north of Fort Worth, and we're just about 35 minutes away from the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. So this D.R. Horton home is about 2,800 square feet, five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it's around $480,000 to $500,000, depending on things that you may want to add to the home. All right, so let's make our way into the heart of the home, which is gonna be the kitchen and the living room, always my favorite areas. What I like that they've done here is that you have this nice, spacious kitchen. It is very open. It's an open concept floor plan, as you can see, but yet you have a little bit of separation from the kitchen to the living room. I am a huge fan of that so that your sofa isn't just right here up next to the island. You definitely have some good separation there, yet it's still open so when you're entertaining your guests can flow th freely throughout the home and this space right here where the dining table is, where the breakfast table is, is a lot of space. There's room for even a bigger table if that's what you needed here. And moving on into the kitchen, as you can see, there's a nice granite countertops. Pecan Square is going to be a gas neighborhood, so you are gonna get gas, which I'm a huge fan of. And look at this microwave. I haven't seen one quite like this before. Ours is only, I don't know, just a few years old and it has the panel on the side. So goodness, just in a few years, they've come a really long way. That looks really nice. In fact, I thought it was just gonna open automatically, but it doesn't. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all that because it's just a, Cool microwave. You've got a backsplash. I like how they turned the subway tile. It gives it a little bit more of a modern look here. And if you really wanted to um, modernize your home that seems a little traditional, then on the subway tile, if it's turned normally, stack the tile instead of stagger it. And so your grout lines would just continue to go down and it just gives it a little bit more modern look. Even in a traditional home, it really does look good. You've got shaker style cabinets here. I like the white with the silver. Silver is coming back and not everything has to be gold. And then you do have your refrigerator over here with a nice island. I like that you can see out into your living room. So if you do have guests over or, you know, your kids are eating breakfast um, while you're getting lunches ready for school, plenty of space in here to do that. Okay, now into this dining space that I mentioned earlier. It really is a very spacious place. It almost feels like really there are three different destinations to go to rather than just one space where you're not really quite sure where one ends and one begins. And part of that is these windows over here are dedicated to this space. It lets in a lot of beautiful natural light. But here is another thing that I really, really like about this floor plan and that is this right here. 
This just gives the kitchen and the dining area a little bit of separation so that when you're in here in the evening and you're you know, winding down or watching a movie, you don't really have to worry about what's going on in the kitchen. It's still very, very open and flows very freely, but it gives a little bit of a separation. And I am a huge fan of that. A lot of times when you go into a home, everything is just in one crowded space, but not here. Everything is nicely spaced out. And then on the other side of Brandon, they've chosen to put this beautiful buffet here. So could easily put something here that's taller, but plenty of space for this as well. It's not intrusive at all. But let's go ahead and head into the living room so we can talk about this just a little bit. So as you can see in here, there is a lot of space, a full-size sofa over here, a love seat on this side, an oversized coffee table, and still room for two chairs on the other side of the living room. And there's even space in here for a beautiful fireplace. Yes, fireplaces to me are very necessary even in Texas because winters can be cold, which to me 40 degrees is cold, but we can get down into the 20s every now and then. We might, might, might dip down into a single digit, but not often. So I am a big fan of a house with a fireplace. And also when it comes to resale, more than likely you're going to find that more buyers prefer a fireplace than don't prefer a fireplace. So if that is ever an option for you, I say go for the fireplace. Anytime you are looking at new construction or going to look at model homes, we always advise you to take your realtor with you on the very first visit. Some builders may not let you be represented by one if you don't take them with you on your very first visit. And as much as we love new construction, those contracts are very builder sided. So you're gonna want someone to help you navigate the process of new construction, helping you along the way, advising you on what kind of inspections to get. Um, there's just a lot that can go on with new construction. In fact, we just had clients that had they not been represented by us or re represented by an agent, they wouldn't have been able to move into their brand new home. But literally within the last several hours, um, we were able to save the deal. So it's very important that you take your realtor with you on the first visit. There's also a lot of incentives that can come and go. So you're going to want to make sure that you reach out to them so you can know what is current. So this master bedroom is actually a very good size room. There is a lot of space in here. What I like about this bedroom is that they've recessed the wall over here so your dresser is kind of flush with this area here and it just adds even more space to the bedroom. Plenty of room for an even more oversized dresser there. We have a lot of natural light that's coming into this room and as you can see there's plenty of room for a king size bed and two good size nightstands. I always like to point out the size of the bed because it helps give you a reference of how big the space is and if your bed would or would not fit in the space, and it definitely will. So good amount of space in here. It's nice and bright and open. Now let's go ahead and come on into the bathroom. So a couple things I like about this bathroom is, first of all, it's just very bright as I walk in. So, you know, putting on makeup in the morning is gonna be a lot nicer because you've got some natural light coming in the bathroom. So you have a nice soaker tub here or a garden tub here with a separate shower that's got a bench. So a little bit of extra space in here in this shower. So that's really nice to have. And you also have your own sink. So everybody gets their own sink. You've got dual sinks here, plenty of counter space, plenty of storage space. I'm a huge fan of drawers in bathrooms. I really like when the drawers go all the way down. You do have a toilet room. Since this is a model home, they do take the door off of the toilet room, but it would have its own door. And then of course, you're gonna have a good sized master closet as well. Plenty of space in here for everybody to put their clothes. So they've done a really good job with the space in this area of the home. So this floor plan is a story and a half. That is optional. They do have a floor plan that doesn't include the upstairs at all. We'll go up there in just a minute. But this one does include the upstairs that has a living room, a bedroom, and a bathroom. So as we're looking at the rest of the house, oh, let me turn this light on. All I have to do is wave my hand over. Speaking of light switches, real quick, hon, let's show them something that D.R. Horton is doing in their houses that I'm not seeing with any other builders. So I'm not going to take it off, but these come off pretty easily. So if you want to change your light switch to a smart switch, 
a dimmer. Um, you can do it yourself. You don't have to have an electrician. This pops off the um, light socket. Is that what switch. it's called? The light switch. <laughs> uh, just pops off and you can replace it. So this one is has a dimmer. You can switch it for a smart switch that connects to your phone. So early in the video, I did mention incentives. I want to talk really briefly about the incentives that they're offering right now. Now these can change. In fact, they will change. That's why it's always important to um, reach out as soon as you are interested because things do change. But currently they're offering $10,000 toward your closing costs. You get to pick um, from a washer, dryer, fridge, blinds. You get to pick two of those. They're also offering a 120 day rate lock that's 1% lower than the current rate. That could put you into the fours easily. But like I said, incentives do come and go. So if this is something you're considering at all, make sure you reach out to us. All the information is in the description below, but make sure you reach out to us as soon as possible because it can take time for a house to be built as well. So if you're thinking about moving, you know, in a couple of months, now is the time to start looking. So because the Collins Square is a master plan community, there are a lot of things that are offered and we'll talk briefly about those things. But like I said, we have a video all about that. So included with your HOA dues, you have internet. So internet is included, but there are so many amenities. There are resort style pools. In fact, there's three pools, splash pad, fitness center, and actual fitness center. There's a pizza oven here, pickleball, basketball, a covered open air pavilion. There's parks throughout the neighborhood. There's this really cool event space called Jackson Hall. In fact, Jackson Hall was the actual home that used to, well, it still does <laughs> sit on this property, but before it was built out, you know, if you're driving by, you would see this beautiful white home and they have kept that home here, but now it is a really, really cool event space. If you homeschool, there's even a place in there where you can take your children during the day. There's a lot to do in Jackson Hall. Another thing I really like about Pecan Square and something they have done really well is they have another building called the Greeting House. That is for co-working space or even if you just work from home and you just want to get out of your home office and you need somewhere different to work, you can go to the Greeting House and work there. You can have conferences. They have televisions for you to do conference calls or Zoom calls. They even have an IT person on staff. Speaking of staff, they also have a full-time event coordinator. The events they have here is absolutely incredible. They've got Christmas in July, July 4th, food trucks, markets. They even have a Vietnamese market as well. Those are just a few things that Pecan Square offers. There's a lot of social clubs. The list goes on and on. There's something here for everyone. They've really done a great job in this community, making it feel like home. They've done a really good job in this neighborhood, making it an actual community. So Pecan Square in North Lake is North Lake ISD. There is an elementary school in the neighborhood. A middle school is being built. Currently, as of the making of this video, it does feed to Byron Nelson High School. Great schools. You can look that up on niche.com or greatschools.org, but this area is definitely known for their great schools. So one reason why we really like the North Fort Worth area, which is North Lake, Argyle, and Justin, is because it is a great location, like I already mentioned, how close it is to Fort Worth and the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport but there's a lot of conveniences here as well. There's still a lot being built and we love that too, but there's a Costco that's close by. HEB just came to North Fort Worth. There's an outlet mall, got things Target, Chick-fil-A, Walmart, McDonald's. I just actually got my hair done the other day here in North Lake. There are a lot of up and coming shops. This really truly is a great area of the North Texas Metroplex if you're considering North Texas. You've got Dallas and Prosper and Frisco and Salina and those are absolutely amazingly beautiful places. But you can get the same quality of life the same builders, the same homes, if you just come over west just a little bit for a much less lower cost. That makes us a huge fan of the North Fort Worth area. So with a DR Horton home, you do get a nice covered back patio, which in this Texas heat is very necessary because we can get pretty hot, especially in August. 
And hun, as I was walking out the door, I noticed something right behind me. There's a little mama bird with her little nest right up there above the speaker. She's looking down on us. So you never know in Texas, and I'm sure they're everywhere, but we do see that a lot here. So like I have mentioned already, this area of North Texas is a great place to live. There is so much to do, even outdoors with hiking, biking, nature trails. We've got several lakes around here for boating, camping, fishing, all kinds of outdoor activities. We are just a huge fan of this area. So make sure you go back, take a look at our video all about Pecan Square. We will link that in the description so it's easy for you to find lots of information out there about this area. And we'll see you on the next one.